Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duo Sarm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a website that my stream chat was spamming me to look at this weekend, which is BDOlytics. And let me tell you, this website is pretty much going to replace all of my YouTube videos. So if you hop over to the Evil Duo Sarm channel and like scroll down to the like multiple playlist section right here, and then there's one that's called Life Skill Guide section, and, and it's a playlist Hello, with all my life skill up, guides guys? and just... Just delete this because you don't need to go there anymore. This website exists and it's fantastic. So the website is BDOlytics and yeah, I, I don't know what to say beyond this is probably one of the best life skilling resources I have ever seen. Link to it's in the description below, so feel free to click on through that. But anyway, when you get here, the first thing you're going to do is enter your stats. So it'll bring you this little user interface where you can put in all of this info information to show you where the more tricky things come from. Family fame, this section right here is located on the P menu on the keyboard. If you press the P key on the keyboard, bring it up, you will see a family fame icon. Hover over this and you'll see that my silver collected is plus 1%. Bringing this back up, you know, all you gotta do is select the 0.1% right there, 0.01. Whether or not you have a value pack running, pretty straightforward. You input your character's weight. Your character weight is found on your inventory by clicking along the bottom here, so 1456, over here on the right side of the screen. And then you put the feathery steps rank of your fairy if you have it. So anywhere from zero to five. To see that, hover over your fairy and you will see if you have feathery steps. So I have feathery steps four on my fairy. All of your various life skill masteries can be found within your character's P menu by pressing the P key on the keyboard, clicking on the fish getting hit in the head with a pickaxe. You will see all of your different life skills and you can see all of your different masteries for those life skills. So just put on all of your mastery gear and enter those buffs into these locations, the various stats that you have. You have to input your energy as well, so don't forget to do that. Whether or not you're running a Camasilvia Blessing or a Villa buff if you're doing Gathering, Hedgehog tier can be found on your Hedgehog pet. So by clicking on your pet list in the top corner, you can see that my Hedgehog is tier three, if you have one. And yeah, just basically fill out all this information right here on this page. And after you've filled out the data inside of this section here, you'll be able to read the rewards of this website. Along the left side of the screen here, you're going to see the various life skills that the majority of players do in the game of gathering, cooking, alchemy, and processing. So just to show you how each of these ones work, if you click on the gathering tab here and click on the gathering overview section, you will see a large number of various places that you can gather in Black Desert, the type of gathering that you can do at those places, and the silver per hour without pots, using pots, or using pots on cooldown, your silver per energy at that location, how long it'll take you to burn through all of your energy, it has a link to somebody's guide for each of the different locations that it'll take you right to to show you exactly where to go, so you don't even need to watch Evil Do Us Arm anymore. So you know what, let's just let's just unsubscribe from this channel real quick. And yeah, so pretty much anything you could want to know about the various gathering locations is right here. There's a couple of spots that your boy Evil Do Us Arm has that aren't on here, you know, like pig blood, because everybody, everybody needs that. But for the most part, pretty much every meta gathering location is here. Under the cooking section is where this really starts to get crazy. So if we go to the market cooking tab, it'll show you all the different recipes that you can make in the game and you can filter by silver per hour and all of that great stuff. If you click on a recipe, so for example, like Freak of Snakes 2, you will see various input parameters that you can adjust. So all of these prices are pulled off of the market. So like in the case of snake meat, you're gonna wanna update that because snake meat is never actually in stock. So snake meat is actually worth something like 12,300, but all you have to do is just modify that singular price right there and update it. At the bottom of the screen, you're gonna see a crafting cost as well as a crafting profit. And for things like snake meat that aren't on the marketplace where you have to go and gather yourself, if you click the tax button, it's gonna bring up a little sickle icon right here. You can then go to this analytics tab and it'll show you the amount of time you're gonna to have to spend gathering. So in this case, 31 minutes to be able to produce the 1000 recipes that we have called out over here. So the amount of time it's gonna take you to gather is based on the settings that you put in in this enter your stats page here. So if we go back into the recipe we were just looking at, we can see how much of our time is gonna be spent towards each of the different things we need to do for this. It's gonna show us our profit per hour if we go ahead and do gathering. It'll show us the value of all the different products that we produce as well as the different products that we consume, our expected output of which is delicacies. And yeah, it's pretty darn nuts. It also has an Imperial cooking tab where you can see the highest valued boxes as well as how many are in stock so you know which ones to make every single day you do your Imperial turn-ins. A cooking XP table if you're looking to power level your cooking stat, you can check all the different boxes of things that you have. Pick your starting level and your goal level, it'll tell you how many crafts of whatever recipe you've selected you need to do as well as how long it's gonna take you. So if you're trying to figure out how to power level the guru, this is it right here. And if you're gonna use cooking to power level for contribution points, you will also be able to see how many byproducts and how long it'll take you um, crafting to get those. 
The alchemy tab is a mirror image of everything we just showed you. Same thing right here. If you got a little sickle icon, you can check it and then it'll add in the gathering time to show you all that information that you need. We can navigate to the processing tab and spoiler alert, it's gonna be the same thing. You can check the boxes and see how long it would take you with gathering. And yeah, so all of these amazing resources, it has all the recipes right here of everything you need to do. It's fan freaking tastic. And yeah, I can see why my stream chat was spamming me telling me that I needed to make a video about this site. Now, additionally, there is a discord server for this and you can jump into the discord server and see additional information on it as well as a change log that's being updated by Warflesh. So you know that this has to be good. And yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. Awesome website, awesome resource if you are a life skiller like me. I wish I found it a month ago when it came out. And trust me, now that I do have access to it, I'm going to be using it all the time. So I do hope this video is going to help you here in Black Desert, help you to progress here in the game. And if it is, let me know in the comment section below. And if it's not, also let me know in the comment section below. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you at the next live stream over on Twitch, the next YouTube video right here, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.